But to just go back to this, the, to the one thing, I was going to say that, like, one thing you can kind of rest assured is that when you meet someone, usually everyone is putting their best foot forward. Yeah. Right? So if someone is starting off out the gate not being, like, cool, then you know it can only get... This is probably the best that they can do. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> Like, all right, I got it. This yeah, so it, it, it's like... Then if you if you go under the assumption this is the best this person can do, like then you already know it can't be any better. Like there, you yeah, know. Yeah, 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 totally. But um, yeah, I don't know. But uh, I kind of well, I, I'm a little bit older than you, and uh, I figured these these kinds of things out like pretty early and. Although I try to get better, I, I mean, I I don't know if I get better when I'm with the person, but I think I'm a little bit better for the next person. Yeah, exactly. You take something out of it, and you learn, and you and you work on it for the next relationship. Yeah, and yeah. You're gonna you're gonna take those mistakes and those lessons, but you know, you're also gonna take yeah who you are, and if it's gonna pass, like fit with the next person or not, that that's to see. But at least you've learned from your past mistakes, hopefully. Yeah. Well, that's a test, right? The next relationship is a test if you've learned or not, you know? Yeah. And that's the problem what I'm having right now is, like, I came out of this relationship where I've been treated poorly, and now I'm only meeting guys who are treating me really nice. Mm -hmm. And it's a really, it's, like, the opposite. It's the extreme, and it's, like, it's super nice, but it's so much attention that I'm really enjoying it. And I'm, like, I want more of it, but I don't want to overwhelm the other person and mm -hmm. be, like, yeah, this is so cool, and I'm so happy, and let's, like, just go for it because I don't actually want a relationship right now. Like mm -hmm. that's really not my goal or my intention. Mm -hmm. I really just want to be free and, you know, independent and because I don't want to fall into that, my old pattern so quickly and just be drawn back into a hole. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and that's the problem with this. Yeah. This positivity and this really nice attention and it's feeling my needs. And it's like, Oh, I want more, but I, but I, was, able... I would feel like you around, um, nice people all the all the time like this is the impression i have of you 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 have well you know actually how how do i have any impression of you actually i i i never met any of your friends right no i don't think so no, no. i barely met you what am i talking about like what <laughs> okay so anyway but what am i talking never mind forget all of that <laughs> <laughs> well, I usually have, I usually do have positive people around me. That's kind of the energy I really try to attract, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why, like, this the the only negative experiences I've had have been really in private and mm -hmm. like not in public and not in the open mm -hmm. because that's not what I attract usually. And this kind of came out of left field and smacked me in the face. So okay, okay, <laughs> relationship. Okay. That's so. Say. Okay, so okay, so you're gonna work on that. What else are you gonna work on, or is this it? You you, you got? Do you do you have your list? No, I mean, I mean, of course, that's one thing that's kind of in my relationship area. There's so many different facets of life where there's always stuff to work on. So, mm -hmm. trying not to overwhelm myself, I definitely want to work on my relationship area, um, which also corresponds to working on myself mm -hmm. and working on just like being comfortable with myself again. Like a big change was I was weighing a lot during my relationship. I had gained a lot of weight, and mm -hmm. now I've pretty much since my relationship ended, I've lost all of it. Okay. <laughs> and okay. that's obviously shows me that how stress, um, you know, reacts on my body and that if I take care of myself through my eating and also through doing sports. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of fitness goals actually, and mm -hmm. a lot of like food goals. But, but um, you, do you, so, okay. Well, I mean, I guess I can't ask you this since you only been in one relationship, but a lot of times, people get happy and they gain weight, too. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know that. I always knew. I've known that from other relationships and my friends, of mm -hmm. course. Um, but I was, I obviously knew this, gain, this weight gain was not because I was happy. And oh, okay. Because it was in stress situations. It was just distress building up on me that I was taking on from everybody else and not really paying attention to the fact that, like, I was ignoring completely all my um, needs and all my... Um, yeah, desires and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. it was definitely not happy weight gain. I know that can happen. I've seen that relationship, and you know, 
usually it looks good on the person. You know, they're filled out, but they're also glowing, and you know, it it, it looks good on them. Mm-hmm. But this did not look good on me. This was not a good look. It was okay. not a good year for that. Um, but then, as soon as I re- ended my relationship, it was it was gone. Mm-hmm. But I now realize, okay, I can have a good eating schedule. I have a good sport, like you know, fitness schedule. But it's the, the stress situation. That's what actually you know causes me to gain weight. So I need to work on not getting in that stress situation and how to work on, you know, de-stressing. Okay. So, so speaking of the sports, right? You, did you tell me you're going to, you run in a marathon, you're going to run a, a half marathon? I'm going to run a half marathon in July in okay. Hamburg. Is this um, the I'm first? To, what, what, what? I, I'm, I'm running the half marathon in July in Hamburg next year. In, 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 uh, in Tallum? Hamburg. Hamburg. Um, okay, I don't know you. 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 Your last couple words trail off sometimes. I can't. I, you know. Let me turn. Right. The, I gotta turn my volume up. Okay. Enunciation. Okay. Let that. me. Let me get closer. Let me get closer to you. Hold on. <laughs> Come a little closer. There Come you go. <laughs> um. And so you gonna in Hamburg. You're going to run the half marathon. Is, have you ever run the marathon? Have you done this before? No. My first race ever was like five kilometers, and I ran that about three weeks ago. Okay. That was the first time I ever ran outside as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. And um, I started in October with running because of my sister. Okay. Um, and uh, she ran the marathon already twice or three mm-hmm. times. I'm pretty sure two to three times. Mm-hmm. And I, I went last year to support her. And it was just the energy and the vibe and watching all these people run and like just to just for the experience and being able to cheer her on and seeing her then also be a part of this like crazy energy. And I gave her a coconut water as well. Mm-hmm. That was actually my the reason why I went there. She's like, can you give me coconut water so I don't die by like mile nice. or yeah. meter 35? Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, okay, sure. So, and, uh, uh, yeah. okay. So I, I was, I saw this video on Instagram of like this woman she was like running the marathon uh-huh and um she it was like towards the end and she was like stumbling she fell and she like fell into the side of the gate that was holding the people back and she was like she was she but she was like literally like feet from the finish line you know and what? She okay. was, and she fell and everything, and then she gets up and she she like gets herself across the finish line, and um, she like falls right on the other side of the finish line, and everything was super dramatic and and like and cool, oh my God. and um, but the, the thing is, is like you could hear people in the background like telling her like get up, get up, you know, and yeah. um, I I thought. It, it it had like this kind of significance to me because I thought about like when you have um I showed it to another person that was like kind of talking to me about um yeah, I'm trying, I forget what we were talking about but it had something to do with uh um like how you enable people and how you have friends or like you might have a friend that let's say she fell, you know, if I'm running the race and I fell where this woman fell, you know, we have a lot of friends who have a a tendency to say, Oh, don't worry. You did the best that you could do. It's, you know, this is, this is, you know, you're still a good, you're still good and everything like that. Yeah. But then you have the other friends that are going to yell at you and say, get up and finish. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. And um. And I guess it's like who who you want to, um, who you want to listen to, you know, and who who what kind of friends you want to have more of, like the kind of friends that are going to tell you to get up. And uh, so I wonder when you are going, like for instance, what you were going through, just to go back to the relationship for a second. Did you yeah. have people telling you? Did you did you talk to your friends about what was going on at all? Or oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I yeah, I talked to a lot of um, friends actually. That was really important um, to that I reached out for their support because in those situations, 
um, where I'm I'm feeling vulnerable. I mm-hmm. don't. I usually close up, and mm-hmm. I don't like to talk to people because that's kind of just the way I've been raised with my emotions. Was like for me to like for myself, and like it's too embarrassing to share with people. Mm-hmm. Um, but because this was, there was a lot of times where it was just really, really bad, really bad, and I needed to talk to someone. And everyone at the end was telling me to go, and they were telling me like you know they were like the you know, get up and finish, like, they're mm-hmm. just, like, get out of this relationship and get yourself, like, don't try and just, you know, focus on you, mm-hmm. and I also had some friends who decided to kind of withhold their their opinion, because mm-hmm. they wanted me to learn it for myself, that I had to be the one to say I need to go, mm-hmm. um, and it was good to have a mix of both friends, actually, because, mm-hmm. you know, there was, there was a lot of perspective, and, um, it wasn't that I was just talking to people who were just like, oh, okay, at least you give it a chance, you know, mm-hmm. and it might be, it might get better, it might be okay, or, you know, you have to learn this for yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was also good that I didn't have the people who were just like, go now and um, send someone over to your house and to, to threaten him and like those, like I didn't, I didn't have one or the other, I had both. Okay. And that's really important. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, and I, I noticed now that in those situations, you need to have both to have more perspective. Mm-hmm. But I mean, when it comes to like sport or something, my sister's the best example. Like, she's the one who says, get up and finish. Yeah. Like, what are you doing on the ground? Like, mm-hmm. your leg is twitching. Come on, get up. And that's what I need in that type of yeah. area because I'm so, I can't motivate myself to get mm-hmm. up and run uh, 21 kilometers just yet. Like, yeah, I need that's, something that's to what I was going to say. Yeah. Because yeah. Cause, um, cause I think, I think that um, those kinds of things, it's just like the second that you can do these these little things just shows you that you are capable and then once you do once you do it once you'll be like okay I know I can do it and then you can say now I can you can probably start applying it to other parts of your life and like exactly. um, yeah. yeah so it's 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 really um, because I, I see what your sister is doing and and uh, I'm I'm happy that you're like a part of it as well and and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to see how everything goes and and I and I'm sure it's probably going to translate into like many other parts of your life you know absolutely yeah, yeah. totally thank you I appreciate that yeah, I yeah. mean you know see like my sister is like she's just such a role model like she's been working so hard since the day I came to the city and um, she's just just been putting her soul and energy into everything in her work and her life and um, you know the thing is because of that we don't we don't have much time for each other Mm -hmm. but now to be incorporated to do something we both really like together for something that's her is work and a job but it also like it's fun and we have our time and you know we can go for a run like we went for this um, race uh, on uh, like a couple Sundays ago and mm-hmm. I was with her and another friend of ours that you know mm-hmm. and um, we ran all together and it was super fun and afterwards we had time for you know a lunch at like at her at her work for us and um, a nice conversation and that's just like that was just such a productive Sunday for our relationship and mm-hmm. not just our relationship but also sports wise that was the first time I ever ran outside and ran a race and ran five kilometers in thirty minutes mm-hmm. and it's like her been able to do that you know so yeah it does translate into so many different uh, facets of life and nice. that's why it's it's nice you know you can connect you can kill two birds or five birds with one stone I right, mean right, right. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah. And then, and then I can. So now we can fast forward a couple of years when, uh, when you guys will be big news about like the marathon running sisters, you know, <laughs> like yeah, that'll be dope. <laughs> That's the plan. That is so funny. You read my mind. That's yeah, exactly yeah. my plan. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I I know what's up. You know. So, I know. Maybe we get you running too, Wallace. Come on. Well, I you know I I was talking to her. I was well. I I didn't talk to her about it. I I I was thinking about it to myself while she was there. I the oh, words okay. didn't actually come out of my mouth, but <laughs> but she did actually like talk to me about like um <clears throat> coming to the the gym or whatever that she she works out at and um. You know, but I, I kind of, obviously, her thing is more of a a woman's thing, you know what I mean? And, like, uh, 
No, I mean, uh, well, and not not really though. It was she was doing that project right for the all the women in the marathon last year. But I think like next year it's more. It's this is like what she's doing now is definitely working with both genders. So mm -hmm. I mean, when we ran the race, like it was a mixture of guys and girls, right? And that's the cool thing about this community is like it's really inclusive for for men and women. But of course, if there are you know certain groups that need more specific training or like women groups or men groups like there is that but mm -hmm. it's kind of cool because i think she's really mixing up with both of them so okay. i mean there's no excuse hollis we're gonna get you running out with us oh, i thought i was <laughs> gonna i thought i was gonna be able to say oh, i'm not a i'm not a woman ah, no. <laughs> i'm sorry i wish i wish i could do it but i can i'm not a woman ah. no no, no, that, won't no that won't work okay oh, well. So. Sorry.